Hi Taurus, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is also if you're spying on a Taurus. It's for singles and couples, so you're going to want to take the messages um, in context of your personal situation. So here we go. Taurus, in the month of January, what is it that you want or you're looking for in regards to love? Okay, so some of you are starting to realize um, very clearly what it is that you desire and that if other people don't want the same things, like if they... Let's say, for example, you're looking for a long-term relationship um, or you're looking for something more casual. Um, other people who want something different than you, you're recognizing it right away and you're like, got to make a decision on that, got to just call it quits with that and feel really confident in what I'm doing. So it seems like you've done a lot of um, work up until now <laughs> to be so self-aware. So, so congrats. <laughs> um, for others of you, it's more about making, um, coming to this place of, you're still developing that and wanting to be able to be assured and confident in your decision. Like saying, you know what, you and me, we just want different things. Let's move on. Or saying, you know what, um, I think we can make this work, but let's have this conversation. So a lot of you are maybe fearing the unknown, but there is this element of like excitement with that. What is what's out there that I'm not aware of. It's it's slightly exciting. It's like 5 to 10% exciting and intriguing. Um, but the rest of you is like, I really, I really kind of want to know what to predict. I really kind of want to know what to expect in the month of January. So what have you learned in love um, in 2017 and years previous that will apply to your love life in January of 2018? They say that you've learned a lot of things in regards to what you can handle and what you can't, especially in a relationship and um, what it requires, you know, like how much time you're going to spend together, how much time you need to yourself, that sort of thing. The balance between relationship and everyday life and then your own personal life and your privacy, that's what's one thing that you've learned. You've also learned that it's very important for you to be a little bit more generous with your time, with your energy, with um, your money too. And so they're saying um, in recognizing this, part of you has become a little bit hopeless, you know, like you've looked at things through a really clear practical lens. And so for some of you, it's going to be like, mm, it might be challenging for me to find somebody who ha who wants the same things that I do, you know, the same amount of uh commitment to time spent together or time spent apart or this or that. But they're saying um, that's a lie that you're telling yourself. It's so strange because I feel like in all of these readings so far, I've probably done like eight of them, a lot of us are lying to ourselves and we're having to get really super clear on um, our self-talk, on our ideas and whether or not they're accurate to the situation or not, or if we're just believing them because that's what we've always believed. So they're saying uh, we've learned that maybe communicating with people like before we have the full picture isn't the best thing, especially if we're coming from a negative headspace where it's already like hopeless in our mind. You know, when there's, when we've already decided like, oh, there's not a solution here. You know, somebody could give you really great advice, but you've already made it up in your mind that it's not going to work. You know, like, what if we this? No, 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 it can't work because this, because that, because this. So they're like, be really cautious um, of that, okay? Don't be that person this month because it's only going to inhibit you. Are you ready for love in the month of January? And they say, absolutely you are, so long as you're loving yourself. Um, then it can come through very quickly. But you do need to kind of put yourself on a pedestal and know that you are worthy of love and that what you want is out there for you um, and that you don't need to settle for less than you desire. Now, they say like some of you are having a hard time manifesting things, like I said, like manifesting the love that you want into your life because you can't envision really um, what that will look like. And that's okay. You don't have to put a face on it. Um, if you're trying to envision a relationship, you don't need to like mentally see how that would work out. Right. Especially when we have this energy of like, Oh, that just wouldn't work. You know, like I want a relationship. I want to be in love, but like I have kids and I don't like have the time and my work. And like, I don't want to introduce people to them. Cause like, if it doesn't work, then it's like not as good. Um, it's, it's not a good example for them and blah, blah, blah. They're like that. 
You don't have to worry about shit like that. Just feel the feelings of like love coming to you. Just know that somebody's out there waiting to love you and try to draw them in like heart chakra to heart chakra. You can actually envision um, a green light going out from your heart and just connecting with somebody in general. You don't have to see their face and just like kind of start pulling them in. Okay. So what can your what kind of subconscious energies are coming up in January that will affect our ability to either find love or grow love in our relationships that already exist? And they say this desire to just kind of like speak your truth, to have like these conversations about things. And they say this is maybe not a choice or decision that you want to make. <laughs> you might want to just kind of keep quiet to yourself and and think a little bit deeper about this on your own because other because they're like some of the things that are going to come out of your mouth before you fully process them, you might change your mind on them and then you can't defend yourself later. So they're like, keep it within a little bit this month. I think Aquarius had something similar. Okay, what are your current blocks? And then how do we get past them? Your current blocks are um, the past. <laughs> so, you know, things that you've gone through in the past, lessons that you've learned, situations you've been in with your current partner in the past, those kind of thing. Um, and, and then the comfortability of how that is. So you've been single for a while. You're starting to become comfortable with that. And so the fact that you can't really envision how love would fit into your life doesn't. You're like, oh, I wish I had love. But you know what? Like, I can't really imagine not being single anymore. I can't imagine somebody coming into my life. Um, that's a blockage, right? You don't have to understand why or how and how it's all, but it, just trust that it's going to work. And then the same thing in your relationships. Like, if you're thinking about things in the past and how things have been, and oh, well, they're just always going to be that way. That's not true. You're deciding that they're always going to be that way. You can figure it out. Like if you always, um, if you always argue about one thing, right? You can decide you're not going to argue about it anymore. You can, but you have to decide that. You know, um, you have to decide not to bring it up anymore, or be okay with it the way that it is, or change the aspects of whatever it is you're arguing about that you can, because we can't really expect the other person to change. Okay. How are you going to ready your heart for love in the month of January? And they say um, getting super clear on what it is that you desire, what you want, and then feeling confident that that's going to come in, just like I said. Okay, how are you going to ready your mind for love? So they say feeling really confident um, after we go within and really think about these things. So kind of redundant. Sorry, guys. Um, how can you ready your spirit for love in the month of January? They're like, Look at those feelings and grow um, a lot of confidence and self-worth from it. And just know that you can have everything that you want so long as you delete this kind of idea that you can't from your mind. What's a positive thing that you can do this month in order to either find a partner or grow love within your current relationship? And they're like, just know that you're going to be successful. It's like putting that trust in the universe, God, Allah, spirit, angels, whatever, or even in yourself. They say, feel really, really, really confident that you're going to be happy once this comes through for you. Instead of being like, oh, I'm going to be so happy that I'm going to be in love, but it's going to be a pain in my ass because now I don't have time for these other things. No, no, no. I'm going to be so happy that this person fits perfectly into my life. And that they're the person that I will love, you know, forever and ever and ever. Okay, I'm going to switch gears here. And I'm going to pull an area of focus for you, those of you who meditate or things like that. Something to think about this month. And then the positive affirmations that go along with that word and image. Okay. So we've got concentration. I think Aquarius had this too. So this is going to be a very mental thing. You're going to need to really concentrate on um, deleting these ideas that don't work for you in the month of January. So there, there's like a little exercise here that you're going to do where you just like focus on something like a candle flame or um, it could be a crack in the wall. It could be um, a specific image that you like or enjoy. It could be a vision board, <laughs> whatever. So what they're saying is, then you're going to say to yourself, I would, oh, also set a timer, right? For like two or three minutes. My mind is empty of extraneous thoughts. I am focusing on a single captivating object. My attention shall remain on that object for a long time in spite of disturbances. 
a well-developed power of concentration is going to help me to solve my problems. So this isn't focusing and concentrating on the issues at hand. It's clearing your mind so then you can focus on them one by one by one. Okay, so that is your January reading, and I look forward to seeing you in February. Bye!